What's going on everyone and welcome back to another episode of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In this episode, we are going to be going over how to make custom classes that will allow our players to spawn with different weapons, health, as well as different player models. First thing we want to do is create a brand new folder within our game mode folder. So new folder, and we're just going to call this config. Now within our brand new folder, we want to create a new file which we will call custom underscore classes dot Lua. And this new file will contain a table of classes that a player can choose from. And we want to keep this file open up as well as our init dot Lua file. And let's start with our custom underscore classes dot Lua file and create that table of classes. So for this, we are going to name our table player underscore classes. And so this equal to an opening and closing curly brace like so. And then within here, we want to create another table that will contain all of the values for this class. So we will create another table, open and close and curly brace. And we are going to have a couple variables in here, one being the name, which we will set this one to our default class. We'll have a health value of 100, a walk speed of 200, a run speed of 200, or sorry, 400. And then we got weapons, which will be another table. And the model, which we will go and set to models slash player slash group zero one slash male underscore zero one dot MDL. And with that, let's go and fill out this weapons table. We're just going to set it to what we currently have for our default loadout, which is weapon underscore pistol, weapon underscore fizz gun, and also weapon underscore fizz cannon. So that is our default class. Let's go ahead and create another class with another empty table using the opening and closing curly braces. And again, we can technically just copy this in here and then change the value. So go ahead and do that. And for the name, we're just going to call it something generic like custom class. We'll set the health to 110. Walk speed, keep it at 200 or change it to whatever you want. And I'm going to set a run speed of 600. And now instead of a weapon underscore pistol, I want to go ahead and do weapon underscore SMG one. So we can go and start with an SMG instead of a pistol. And for our model, we're going to change this from male to female. So our model is also different from the default class that we have specified up here. And with all of that done, let's head to our init file now. Now the first thing we want to take care of within this file is we want to include our custom class configuration file, this one right here that we just created. And we want to include it in our init.lua file. So to do this, we will do add CS or client side Lua file. And the one that we want to add is config slash custom underscore classes dot Lua. And then we want to do the same exact thing, but we also want to include it. So config slash custom underscore classes dot Lua. Then with that file included, we want to set the player's class on initial spawn. So head on down to our initial spawn function right here. And just right at the top, we are going to use a network variable to go ahead and set a networked integer called player class to the starting class. We will do player colon set nwint, the name of the network integer, which we'll just call player class for now, and then the value that we want to set it to. And let's just set it to the default class for now of one. And then so we can actually utilize this new player class network integer that we have, Let's head on down to our loadout function and change that up a little bit so we can get the weapons that are stored within this table here versus hard coding it in like we currently have right here. So let's go ahead and get rid of all that code in there. And the first thing we want to do is we want to create a variable that will store our current class for the specified player. To do this, local player class equals player underscore classes and since this is a global variable and we are including it right up here we can go ahead and access it by the table name which is just player underscore classes 
So we can do that. And then we do opening, closing, square brackets, player, colon, git, nwint, player, class. And this will go ahead, return the value of one here, and grab the first index within this player class table, which will be the default class we have here. And then we want to go ahead and loop through the weapons table that we have in here for the current class. To do this, we just use for k comma v in pairs. And again, we want to loop through the weapons table right here. In order to do that, we will utilize our player class variable we just created above. So player class dot weapons, because we want to go ahead and grab the weapons table. And then do and end. Now this will go ahead and loop through every single weapon in here. So it'll go weapon pistol, fizz gun, and fizz cannon. And we want to give each of those weapons to the player. And to do that, we use player colon give and the value, so V. So once again, that value will first be set to pistol, then it'll loop through again, set to fizz gun, then fizz cannon, and will give us all of those weapons. Now with that done, we just want to set the player's model to what is set for the class. So for the default class, it will be the male underscore zero one model. To do this, we use a brand new function. Function gm colon player set model. Takes in one argument, the player. And once again, we want to go ahead and grab the player class. So let's just copy this variable from our player loadout function and just put it right in this function. And with that, we can set the model for the player to the one that is set in the config, player colon set model, player class dot model, and that'll go ahead and grab the model for whatever class we are set to. So in this case, we're set to one, it'll set the model to this. If we were set to class two, it'll set the model to this one. And with all of that done, let's head on into game and test some of this stuff out. Once we're in game, we can see that we have the weapons that are set in the config for our current class. And if I run kill and console, you should see that our model was also set to what we have set for that class, which is that male underscore zero one model. Now, if I go ahead into here and just change this from one to two and reload our game real quick. What we should end up seeing is a new loadout as well as a new player model. So as you can see, we now start with that SMG instead of the pistol, and we still have the gravity gun and the physics gun. And if I type killing console again, we should see that our model is now set to the female model that we have set for that second class. With all of that working, that will conclude this episode. Next time we will be setting the health, walk speed, and the run speed to the values that we have set right here and here. And we will also be creating a console command so we can change our class from within game instead of having to change it within our code. So if this video was helpful to you, please hit that like button. And as always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.